Okay, whenever we make use of options page, we first need to specify that in the manifest file. So over here, I'm going to have options underscore page, and this is going to be options.html. So now let's go ahead and create the UI for our options page. So I'm going to create a new file, options.html, and we're going to have some pretty basic HTML. So first, the doc type, this is going to be HTML. Uh, okay, this is going to be HTML. And then we're going to have the HTML tag, a head tag, and then we're going to have a title tag that's going to say budget manager options. And then we're going to have to include our JavaScript and for that I'm going to just copy from this so copy options.html paste it and I'm just going to change pop-up to options and the JavaScript we will be implementing this in the next video so we have our scripts in place now we can go to the body and we're going to have an h1 tag that's going to say budget manager options and then an h2 tag now this is going to have a limit and we are going to input id is equal to did i get that right so input type is equal to text id is equal to we're going to call this limit and then we don't need the name and value Okay, and then we need two buttons. Let's go over here and then input type equals submit. We're going to have an ID and this is going to be save limit. We don't need a name. Let's have a value that says save limit. And then we're going to have something similar. So input type equals submit. Instead of save limit, we're going to have reset total. And the value is going to be reset total. So now let's reload our extension and have a look at our options UI. So I've reloaded this. And if you see here, an options link also appears. So when I right click on this, I get this options. And when I click on that, we have our budget manager options. We have our limit to enter over here and two buttons. So of course, these buttons don't do anything right now. Let's implement the functionality in the next video.